Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and um, this week our question and answer is How can activists be inspired to continue and not get burned out? This is a really good question and um, it's really important um, in the animal rights movement, in activism in general actually. Um, so I'd like to, maybe I'll share um, my life at the moment with you. So um, I've been running vivalavegan.net since 2005 and it, it creates, there's a lot of different things on there, videos, podcasts, um, recipes, articles, um, blogs and there's so many different things just to educate people and inspire people to become vegan and to learn more about the vegan lifestyle. Um, I have various writers that write all the time so I schedule a lot of those and um, I answer a lot of questions from people through my website, through the Facebook. We also have Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Pinterest and all the social media sort of things. Um, I also have been running a not-for-profit environmental awareness group that focuses on plant-based education and um, that's been running since 2009 and we originally started to put on an all-vegan festival in Brisbane in Australia. So that's been taking up a lot of my time as well. Not as much since we're not doing the festivals. We did two, 2010 and 2011 that were quite successful. But we have regular events, so we have a lot of leafleting, outreach, letter writing, um, potlucks, video nights, um, and other environmental sort of related things like workshops on composting, recycling, edible container gardens, um, and we have trail walks and social sort of events. Um, I work with people to organise these and um, also we have the greenearthgroup.org blog and that has a lot of different article writers as well. So I um, organise all those sort of things. Also um, do writing myself and I've released some books and I give a lot of talks. Um, I talk about um, online activism, I talk a lot about veganism and health and I also like to talk about social media and online etiquette. Um, I also have a job doing social media marketing and a lot of online stuff, so ghost writing and video creation. So I have quite a few clients that are long term, like as in every week, and I have others that come and go as well. Um, so my life's quite um, intense, as I, I do a lot of things and I enjoy that. But sooner or later you have to work out what's important to you and what things have to give. Um, so it's good for me. I went away um, recently um, in August uh, 2012 and I was over in Southeast Asia for six months. And I'd really suggest this to people, to get away from um, the scene that you're immersed in, um, to get away from everyone and everything and to go somewhere else where you can see whatever you're involved in um, as an outsider instead of someone who's involved in it um, because you can see things from a different perspective and you know I met so many amazing people a lot of them were non vegan as well and just to just to be around people like that that are not normally around and to meet other people from different cultures and do different things and it was really it was really quite amazing and I learned a lot when I was away and since I've come home I've realized the things that are important to me the people that are important to me and I make time for those sort of things and I'm trying to get rid of just all the other sort of white noise I guess you could say um, this this for me is you know one of the probably the major things for me is um, what I do online with Facebook in particular because I run all my websites so Viva La Vegan, Green Earth Group, um, Lee Chantel and other clients, quite a few other clients, social media. Um, I'm always online with different things. Um, I've been doing 
I've been not being on Facebook on weekends for almost two years and that was really good and just as of this year after um, seeing the way people reacted to one of my friends who came out um, as no longer being vegan I just don't want to be around such negativity and um, judgment all the time and I feel a lot of it's really really negative and judgmental condescending Rah, rah, rah. So I decided, and I actually, um, uh, I was off offline for a while, um, and I decided just to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Facebook. I still run things through um, Hootsuite, which is a lot of other channels, but um, you know, that, that, and that's been really good for me since since I decided to do that actually. So it's just working out the things that really work in your life and getting rid of the things that don't. Like the things that really bring you joy and happiness, do more of those. And the things that are really heartbreaking and soul destroying, try to limit those as much as possible. And I know, you know, activists have to get involved in some really horrible things and, um, you know, especially undercover stuff and um, just doing stuff a lot of people don't want to hear. A lot of people are really antagonistic towards them, um, you know, but, you know, it needs to be done, doesn't it? So you just need to work out what's good for you and what's good for your health. And um, also another thing in the past few years I've done is just get rid of negative people, um, people that cause drama, people that are really um, just ego maybe based in the movement and surround yourself with the people, you know, that are, are walkers, not talkers and that just get stuff done and they don't have to put it on Facebook every five minutes about all the things that they've done. Um, you know, they're the people that actually get things done and, um, you know, the animals don't care whether you can post on Facebook or not, do they? So, um, it's, yeah, it's just working out what's important to you and just making time for yourself as well. Another thing, when I first did my festival, Green Earth Festival in 2010, it completely took over my life for at least three months. It was a full time, full on event. And, um, you know, after that I, I just had to go, okay, I have to do something that's completely removed from festivals, events, from veganism, from animal rights, from music, everything I was passionate about that I did a lot of, I just wanted to remove myself from it. And um, so I chose to follow um, my um, Brisbane team, the Brisbane Lions, which is an Australian football league or AFL um, sport here in Australia. It started in Australia as um, VFL, Victorian Football League, and um, I absolutely adore it. So when it's, um, when it's AFL season, I completely immerse myself in AFL and follow my team even though we lose pretty much a lot lately which is not good um, follow the stats follow all the information I just I just really enjoy it and it's great to have um, something that's completely removed from everything else I'm passionate about and I definitely suggest you do something like that I definitely suggest um, if you need if you need some sort of help like that you go and get it like counseling like a psychiatrist or a psychologist that you go and see them um, drugs alcohol things like that does not help if you're unhappy you need to deal with whatever is hurting you whatever is making you unhappy and I think also something that's helped me in the last few years that I've really sort of fully absorbed I think is um, I'm just not attached to outcomes anymore so for example you know I speak to people and they put on events and they're like we're gonna do this we're gonna get this person here and we're gonna do this and we're gonna get all these vegans at the end of it and I'm like mm, you may you may not and I think you know I've said to them you just need to focus on this is my event and I'm gonna give so much information to the public who come you know there's a lot of people that aren't vegan there and I really hope that with this information we, we give that they can go away and make their own decision about whether they want to become vegan and we know that we've done everything in our power to, to help them make that decision. And you can't force anyone to change their mindset. You can't force anyone to become vegan. And um, it's all just about planting seeds, you know, for me. It's all about planting seeds and you do everything you can and the best that you can to help it grow and to help it bloom and blossom into something wonderful. Um, 
but also you can't control weather you can't control um, the rain or lack of rain you can't control if um, the sun's too hot for a week or something you can't control so many different things in life and um, you know I feel once you once you let go of outcomes that you're, you're much freer and then um, it doesn't you know it doesn't hurt as much when you put a lot of effort into something and the outcome isn't what you expected it would be and um, this means still keep trying this means still keep fighting the, the fight that we need to do and this means also creating a tribe you know our own tribe don't give in to all those temptations that are forcing us to you know keep our movement completely splintered like you're oh you're that group you're that group you're that group you're that group we're all one group we're vegans and animal rights activists we need to join together we need to do stuff together um, and if people are trying to create drama if people are trying to segregate people they're probably people you need to reassess about whether or not you want them in your life I personally don't need those sort of people in my life I know what path I'm in I know what I'm trying to achieve and I hope that I'm educating people as much as I'm getting educated myself and um, definitely you know you need to take time out for yourself please remember that and um, don't martyr yourself you know it's, it doesn't help anyone if you're doing so many things and then you end up hospitalized for stress or something we need to be showing the world that we're you know a great example of veganism that we can do all these things and we're aiming to achieve greatness and that we will achieve it might not be in our lifetime but we plant the seeds for generations to come i believe in you and i believe in us and i believe in the movement so i hope that answered your question today please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week